the question on the National Cathedral is a very important one. Uh, the National Cathedral, I have contributed to its construction personally. I believe it's a very important uh, thing for Ghana. But I think that as it stands now, the church has to come together and government and let us sit down and talk about the way forward for the National Cathedral. The church should come together and let us know the best way forward, how we can even get private resources to help us to complete the cathedral. But I think it is possible. We should not say it is not possible. Let us all sit back together and figure out the way forward on how to complete this cathedral. I think if we all come together, we'll figure it out. I really believe so. So I want us to come together and sit down and see the best way forward to, to generate the resources to complete. It's a very important one. Uh, the National Cathedral, I have contributed to its construction personally. I believe it's a very important... As, as, as citizens of a secular state, mm -hmm. which is facing all the problems that we all know we are facing, I don't think that we are expecting our leader, our president, to be spending his time on consultations to build a cathedral, especially given our experiences with the attempt to build a cathedral over the last eight years. I don't think that that is the way to go, and, and I'm serious about it, you know. I mean, look, you look at the state of the nation today. So if you look at the state of the nation today, and you hear our leaders talking about cathedral and so on, what do you think? Is that what our leaders should be talking about today? But they asked me. Are you saying that he should have answered the question that was, uh, I mean, posed to him? He should have answered. He definitely has to answer. Yeah, but it depends on what answer you give. You give okay. Clearly, he's saying that he's committed to building the cathedral. It's possible. He said it is possible. Not just that <laughs> it is possible, but he has a commitment to building the cathedral. Now, he has made personal donations. And he's going to consult to find how best to build it. That's what he's saying. Should, is, is that what we expect? With the church and with but, the support but, of the private sector. But for sector. those who did the personal donations. With the, the support of anything. Shouldn't they be interested mm. in seeing the success of the cathedral? If I donated, mm. I want to see what my money has been used for. Because specifically, that's what I was asked to donate. That's your it private was, matter. Eh? It's not a matter for the state of Ghana. It's your private matter. Oh, how? How is that not your private matter? The Constitution says that every citizen has a right to believe in whatever God, whatever deity, to worship anyhow or not to worship. Is that, what the, is, is that not what the Constitution says? Mm. So what you worship, what structure of worship you build and so on, it's your private matter. It should not become a state matter. That's the point I'm making. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So, is it his business? It may be his business as a private citizen who initially started off his religious you know, things from the boys' brigade and so on. Maybe. But as president, it's not part of his duty. But at this Indeed. point, Uncle, it has become a problem because we have even used national, sorry, uh, the nation's money and pumped into that project. So I'm, sure, I'm, become... I'm, I'm sure you heard about the phrase, cutting losses. Yes. Cut your loss. Cut your loss. Cut your losses and focus on the most important things. Say talking about building the National Cathedral, maybe we have young for what is this? What is this? We should, we should, we should be serious in this country and stop this, this joke. <laughs> and, and who says uh, that if you promise to build a National Cathedral, Christians will vote for you? Or that Christians are interested in the building of a National Cathedral? Some of the strongest opposition to this project has come from the Christian community. In fact, some of the pastors who are on the board resigned. Yeah, some of the strongest opposition has come from the Christian community. You understand? And look, so many people are on the campaign trail, a lot more are likely to join them, and so on. Please do not think that we, the citizens, are idiots. We are not idiots. So don't go around like the, like the British politician who went to the rural area 
and promised to build a bridge. I'm sure you know that story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I will build you a bridge. And then a small guy from the audience said, but sir, there's no river here. He said, don't worry, I'll hide the river. <laughs> Stop behaving like that. You're dealing with people who are capable of thinking. You understand? So don't, don't come making all these useless promises which you can't fulfill, promises which do not resolve the real concrete problems that confront our people today. Let's be serious. Okay. Um, we, we, uh, and we, see, we, this we, whole we, National Cathedral business I mean, incredible. One of the things that really shocked me mm -hmm, was this importation of the of the of the the what stone do they call it? The foundation stone, the foundation stone from, from Israel. Israel. So ignorant, so backward. Why? A regime with the International Criminal Court has determined that it's committing genocide. Is the regime which brings you the, the cornerstone of your cathedral. Huh? It, 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 is, it, is, it is an ambassador who is Jewish who brings you the cornerstone of your Christian cathedral. <laughs> when indeed, Judaism does not recognize Christianity. Christianity yeah. Judaism does not even recognize the New Testament. The New Testament they think is fake. So, even if you are minded to do something for Christians, is that how to do it? 